spend about 24 hours a day on the internet. Checking my email, going on Facebook. When I'm not on my Blackberry, I'm on my laptop. When I'm not on my laptop, I'm on my iPod. Chatting with people, browsing the web. Every time kids connect to their digital worlds, they're faced with countless decisions as they post, text, search, download, and chat. Decisions that can have serious implications. Will they connect with like minds or spill too much information to the wrong people? Will they use their digital canvas to create responsibly or borrow ideas recklessly? Will they make smart choices or act without considering consequences? How many people have been using Pivot to try to create a animated avatar? And educators face challenges too. Finding ways to incorporate ever-changing technology into their classrooms and teaching students to use these technologies safely and responsibly. These kids need guidance. They need to understand that there are dangers out there. I definitely feel that there is pressure from parents and society to teach students to be responsible digital citizens. The challenge I had in the past was there was no clear-cut curriculum on how to teach that. Did somebody like post a bad picture about that? It can all be overwhelming. That's why Common Sense Media created resources for educators. We've designed our programs to give educators everything they need, the tools and the resources to teach kids important 21st century skills to thrive in our fast-paced digital world. I've enjoyed using the curriculum with my students. The lessons are easy to follow, and there are a lot of activities that the kids can have a lot of fun with. They love to share their opinions. It does not insult the kids' intelligence. It hits them right in their wheelhouse. It's real to them. And I think it gives them a nice awareness of how to use it responsibly. The core of our program is the Digital Literacy and Citizenship Curriculum. The curriculum is comprehensive, yet straightforward. It comes complete with lesson plans, handouts for students and parents, web-based exercises, and interactive projects, all designed to get kids engaged and to think critically about the media and technology in their lives. The curriculum helps you teach kids three main topics. One, how to be safe and protect their privacy online. Two, how to be a good digital citizen. And three, how to find and evaluate online information. The lessons are based on research from the Harvard Graduate School of Education. And thanks to generous philanthropic support, all of these resources are available at no cost to schools. What I like about the Common Sense Media curriculum is that one, it's easy to use. There's a lot of background information that's, that's included for teachers if it's something you feel like you don't know a lot about. It's online, the worksheets, everything is there for you. So I've learned along with the kids. I think I put Pandora. It's kind of fun to learn new things and like in a fun way. They tell you what it's really like. How to be safe on the internet and how to not break copyright laws and how to stay away from any harm that might come to you. It's fun too. Teaching kids directly about digital citizenship is important, but that's only half of it. It's also important to educate parents about the role that digital media plays in their lives so that they can reinforce the messages that kids are learning in the classroom. That's where our Parent Media Education Program comes in. It's also free and gives schools practical information and tools to teach parents about their kids' media lives. Topics include cyberbullying, social networking, sexting, video games, and more. Great answer! They get the fact that educating kids isn't enough. Part of the program is we need to educate the community, we need to educate the parents, and we need to educate school administrators and teachers. Here's something that I see in this day and age to be so necessary and at no cost, you'd be foolish to say no.